Media's Use of Terminology, Conflict or War in Israel-Palestine The ongoing war in the region of Israel and Palestine has long been a subject of international concern and a focal point for media coverage. However, a contentious issue persists regarding the terminology used to describe the situation. Is it a conflict or a war? This article explores the use of these terms in media narratives and the implications they carry. Conflict versus War, Why the Terminology Matters The choice of words to describe the situation in Israel and Palestine is not merely a matter of semantics, it carries significant political, legal, and ethical connotations. Here's a breakdown of the terms. Conflict when the media refers to the Israel-Palestine situation as a conflict, it implies that the dispute is an ongoing disagreement or struggle between two parties. This term tends to downplay the intensity of the situation and may not fully convey the gravity of the violence and suffering experienced by the people involved. War, calling it a war, emphasizes the scale and severity of the situation, suggesting a prolonged state of organized, armed conflict involving large-scale violence. This term acknowledges the human and material costs, as well as the potential violations of international humanitarian law. The Complexity of the Israel-Palestine Situation The Israel-Palestine situation is characterized by deep-seated historical, political, and social complexities, making it a challenging topic for media coverage. In the pursuit of objectivity, media outlets must be cautious with their use of terminology, as it can influence public perceptions and policy decisions. Media and its role Media outlets play a pivotal role in shaping public understanding of global events, and the Israel-Palestine situation is no exception. The choice of terminology by media organizations can reflect their editorial stance and influence how audiences perceive the conflict. The Consequences of Terminology Using the term conflict can be seen as a neutral way to describe the situation, allowing media outlets to avoid taking sides. However, it can also trivialize the extent of the violence and suffering endured by the people in the region. On the other hand, we need to refer to it as a war because it is a war and can help draw attention to the severity of the situation. In a world where terminology plays a vital role in shaping narratives and public perceptions, the media's choice of words regarding the Israel-Palestine situation is crucial. For that we need to call it war, it is essential for media outlets to provide comprehensive, balanced, and context-rich coverage that enables audiences to gain a deeper understanding of the issues at hand. Ultimately, it is the responsibility of the media to present a clear and nuanced picture of the situation and its implications.